Hello everyone, this is Hemin and welcome to a Procreate tutorial. I already made a video about what brushes I'm using and my illustration technique about 7 months ago. I'm still using the same iPad and same crayon brushes. For those of you who want to see drawings of some of other things in my art style, so today I'm gonna draw a strawberry dessert. I'm going to skip introducing the brushes in detail because I already mentioned everything about the brushes in the last video so if you are interested please check it out. If you want to draw in me right now and practice the art with the same brushes, I'll leave the link to the place where you can get in the down description box. I have never created any Procreate brushes but I purchased only once in my life. This is the first time to draw today's art piece for me as well. I drew some of initial thought in my sketchbook, so I'm gonna reference it. So now let's make a new canvas. When I draw for new art prints, I usually draw in A6 size, but whenever I make a new art piece for posting on Instagram or new stickers, I usually draw in a square size. So my usual dimension is 70 millimeters by 70 millimeters and 300 dpi. The color should be RGB and then create. For the initial sketching step, I always choose light blue colors. This is the crayon brushes that I use every single day. There are 15 brushes, but I use only two of them. I use the groovy one first, and then reduce opacity like 77, and then adjust the size. I'm currently going to draw a strawberry tart. I think it's better to show you guys the actual reference of photo. So I'm gonna put here. If you've been using Procreate for a while, you know the best feature is you don't have to draw a perfect circle or curve because it can edit it automatically and super well. Oh, by the way, for today's drawing, we will draw a lot of curves and circles. When you just found out what we are going to draw, you might feel like you are already in panic because it is not a normal shape. This is a strawberry tart, but it is cut in very unfairly half. However, if you can understand the origin of the shape, it is much easier to work out whatever you want, anything, and it is not too complicated as much as you think. So for the very first step, let's ignore the lost part and pretend like we are looking at the perfect tart. Depending on how you feel like, you can choose to draw the fillings first or the shell. Uh, for me, I'm going to draw the shell first. Because I feel like the shell is such a foundation of the drawing, so I want to draw it first. If you are unsure how to draw a shell, firstly draw a vertical axis and then draw a circle at the top. Make sure the vertical axis meets the middle of the circle. Draw two lines to close the shape. Now it looks like upside down cone. Draw another circle at the bottom of the first circle. Let's erase the small cone. So yeah, that's basically how to draw the shell. But if you get used to do it, you don't have to follow the long process. Now, if you can look at the reference or if you have an experience of having a tart, you know there's a little thickness of the shell. Let's draw another slightly smaller circle at the top. And then let's chop the shell. I'm going to draw a long line. Remember, this tart is not cut in half. So initially, draw a long line and adjust the direction of the line and put it where you feel like it is the right spot. And then continue drawing the line with following the shape of the shell. At this point, if you are struggling with drawing these two lines or if they look awkward, think where the two lines can be the vanishing point. And also these two lines. Now I'm going to try to find the wall of thickness and also I'm going to put a few steps of how to find the thickness or how to draw thickness in photos on the left. When I start initial plans in my sketchbook, I don't draw much detail but when I start working in Procreate, I try to draw as much as possible I wish. So I won't be confused when I started drawing line art. Once you finish drawing the thickness, let's draw the tart in dark again. This process will help you clean the lines. By the way, I'm currently drawing the darker lines in a different layer. 
because in case I needed this sketch for a guideline later I currently have four layers and this is how it looks like if I turn off every previous sketch I'm gonna turn on only the layer 2 so the second one now it's time to draw feelings let's draw a sphere first Once you've done this step, let's look at the reference again. As you can see, there's different layers with different feelings. At the very bottom, it looks like sort of custard cream or sponge cake. And then I can see a sort of tart shell. And then cream with few strawberries. And then another sort of tart shell. And then there's a very soft light pink cream. And at the very top, there are obviously strawberries. After I drew the filling inside, I adjusted the size of the, the top filling again because I just realized that there are a few like sort of marshmallows or like chunk of cream. Now I'm drawing where the strawberries should be and then I'm drawing them in a little bit more detail, especially the pointy shape. Now our sketch is getting very similar to the reference, however, I'm not going to finish this sketch step like this. Many of you guys probably chose to watch this video to learn how to paint in Procreate. Once you get to feel more confident to draw anything, you probably start thinking of doing an art brand as soon as possibly you wish. I highly recommend that everyone who is watching this video, especially for beginners, I want to recommend you guys practicing how to personalize the references. For example, I'm currently working on a project of a theme of cafe and baker trip with a bunny and a little girl. And the cafe is very cozy and very floral because I love drawing flowers. And in my art world, there are many animal friends because I'm always fell in love with animal. This is very related to the next vlog. So, so, so <laughs> for this art piece, I'm gonna add a bunny and some of flowers. Also, I want to add more strawberries around the bottom to make this dessert to look fresher. Look at how many layers I made so far. I used to draw every sketch in one layer, but recently I realized drawing in different layers might be better and efficient to edit in case I need. And I merge some layers later when I feel like my sketch is done. I think that's all of the sketch step. Let's have a little break time for 10 minutes. Stretch your back and neck. Hello, welcome back to this video again. I really hope you guys had a nice break. I want to put the transparency of the main body a little bit down. Now it's time to draw the outline. Let's get the opposite back to 100%. Reduce the size to 2 but nearly 3. I've found that there are barely of size of 2. If I drew more than 3 size of a brush in this size of the canvas, I feel like the drawings turn out too heavy. There is not much technique for this step except for the fact that I'm drawing each of a feeling, the shell, the bunny, leaves in different layers and mostly I try to organize the layers well because I found that this way help me clean the lines later and change the colors when I need. This is how it looks like when you finish the line art. Now when I add the colors, I also put every color in different layers because it is the easiest way to select specific layers when I need to shade and add texture for the colors depending on how I feel like or depending on mostly my current projects. Many of my art pieces turn out yellowish or pinkish. My current project is currently set in a pinkish cafe bakery so i'm going to make this art in pinkish as well when i when i put colors i prefer adding colors manually with my ipad pen so i don't drag colors to my art it takes really really time it takes really really a lot of time but i do that because i like the texture of the brush to be remain for the light direction, I would say it's coming from top to left and over the brightest side is the flat side of the filling. I think 
because the tat lost some parts purposely to show the inside and the strawberries are actually really really dark colors and if I paint the filling side in darker than any other side this dessert wouldn't look fresh when I paint plants or any leaves I like using yellowish green because it feels warm and cozy now I'm gonna change color some of lines this makes my art brighter I started doing this around the beginning of June Oh, by the way, before we go further, I forgot to mention one thing. When I drew every cheek on the face, I used these symbols. This is a brush that Procreate provided for free when I installed. It should be in textures. Now, it is a really fun time. I'm going to shade and I'm going to show how to do texture with this crayon brush. I use FT Fine Tip Wax from now until the end. I'm going to draw strawberries in the toppings first. Before we think about how to shade the strawberries individually, I recommend you looking at everything all together as one. Like everything is merged, then say the light is coming from the left. Then the darkest point will be the strawberry that is under the flower. Then you might wonder why the tart, why why the shared tart is not darker than the strawberries, even though it is at a lower position. It's because of the color contrast. Red is actually really dark. If it sounds hard to understand for you, I recommend you looking at photos in black and white and practice painting in one color. To shade individually, I drew some guidelines for you. When I shade, I use reasonably bigger size of the brush but not too big and draw and follow the shape of the thing for example for the strawberries i use more of round lines and when i drew the right side of the tart shell i might use more of a straight line but then now when i add more of detailed texture it might sound a little bit complicated to understand how to shade the shell because there are something around the bottom also the shell has a little bit of the shape of umbrella or plant pot to make everything look separate i add reflected light around the things like the reference i do and the core shadow is the the nearest dark side to the front. After shading, I drew straight away the detail a little smaller size of the brush and a little bit of a highlight. When I try to find the highlight in the zone of a direct light, I'm using white. But I'm not going to draw any seed. Instead, it, I'm trying to make the highlight looks seed. And around the bottom of the strawberries, they are not highlights, but I'm drawing another another reflected light i'm using very light pink when you start shading the second layers of the strawberries don't forget to shade the sides of them to make a slight thickness apart from strawberries and the shell i didn't care of drawing too much detail or adding texture for the rest strawberries are the main characters in this drawing so i think they should be outstanding and the shell is like a support to the drawing looks solid and stable. I don't like every single thing has too much detail, so that's why I'm not adding too much detail or texture for the rest. And I shaded them really, really gently. Many of you guys would still wonder how I added texture on them. I drew it really thin, but still easily visible lines. And I don't think much, I don't draw in any particular reaction. I just add any round lines to make it look like at least a dry crayon texture or finish the art. Now it's nearly the end. I just realized the strawberry looks so dry, so I'm going to add a lot of thicker highlights to make them look fresh.
and also add some stars and lines around the cake. Lastly, I added a grid in the background in a very light yellow. I found this way makes the drawing a bit more stylish. It's the end of my drawing process. Thank you so much for coming. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Have a wonderful, lovely day, and I'll see you in other videos. Bye!